Alright. Alright. If you guys have that here for the third lead, we're gonna stop. Well, he'll sing now. Alright. I'll just go in this, hit the drum and we're gonna stop. So just stop when I bang, bang. So strong. Drum, singing for the people, singing from your heart, mm. dancing too. Well, I think that what makes us strong is our tradition and how we were raised and brought up. I think what what makes me strong or our Native American people strong is the fact that we all stick. That in the beginning, we all stick together. At first, the thing that I thought that was going to make me strong was dumbbells and all that, but no, nah, I, I just need to learn, learn more of my culture. And I need to help out my family when I'm back home. I need to, um, I need to grow up. You know, we have our own, our own uh, ceremonies and our own way of doing things, our own languages. No, uh, not too many people nowadays really care about these kind of things. Like our culture, our ceremonies, and all that, they just kind of care about being like that guy on TV or the guy they see in a magazine or some pictures. I don't really listen to, you know, the elders or people that try to help them and tell them things. Yes, you see that? You see that? A highlight of the day. <laughs> Ow. Bloob. What makes you strong? <laughs> Error. Error. Life makes me strong. Living life makes me strong. Thank you. Yeah, that was good. Thank you. This is like a prayer song. It's really a good, powerful song. Using a lot of sweats and ceremonies. And the words say they are here praying with us. Give it up! Looking good! Looking good! Don't force it! Don't force it! Space it, Mom! Let us face it! Scream it out! Move it out! Hop! Scream! Hop! Switch! Switch!
<laughs> so easy. It's a prayer song. It's uh, kind of like asking the, the uh, asking the, the Creator to have have pity on us and help us. We are Nihawe, yeah, yeah, yo, we know how we know yo. We are Nihawe, yeah, yeah, yo, we know how we know yo. We are Nihawe, yeah, yeah, yo, we know how we know yo. We are Nihawe, yeah, yeah, yo, we know how we know yo. We are Nihawe, yeah, yeah, yo, we know how we know yo. Ah, they walk on tongue, oh, she Oni wachi ye lo ahe ne He yoni ho we ye ye yo we no ho we ne yo He yoni ho we ye ye yo we no ho we ne yo He yoni ho we ye ye yo we no ho we yo no ahe ne yo wa Wani ki yo jesus ho shi mana yo Wani wachi ye lo ahe We are the yeah, we know how Well, school makes it strong, uh, educational-wise. Uh, Chief Plenty Coops once quoted that education is a powerful key or tool. Without education, we are the white man's slave. With it, we are as equal. How is this school strong? I would say this school is strong by mainly the students that are here. I think the students is what makes this school really strong here. It's their, their ability to interact to kind of whatever comes towards them they're able to react to it and get it to come around and actually evolve towards a, a person <laughs> that can succeed in uh, outside of school so in life itself <laughs> That's cool. Hey, there's James. They're battling right now. <laughs> the battle of the cameras. I'm also bringing in uh, another person who's a auntie of a former student here, a former student that committed suicide. And she wants to talk about the, how the family was affected. Matter of fact, there were two members in her family that committed suicide. And she wants to talk about how that affected their family. The worst society to me is um, uh, the, the, our, our traditional ways and the warrior belief. As, um, as a Native American, no, we are initially warriors because we need to protect and provide for our families and, and anybody who initially needs help. And the warrior society is like a leadership deal type deal. I, I think from the warrior society, like what I'm learning is respect, responsibility, how to treat people better, and like just how to be my own person and respect, or I already said respect, but how to be my own person and like just like make good choices and stuff. Don't give up. Anything's reachable, you know. 
any goals you set before you, you can reach. But it's going to take a lot out of you. Don't expect just to climb over a fence and that's going to be it. There's going to be a lot of fences, trenches, and all that you have to go through before you get there. And there's going to be times you give up, that you want to give up, that you're tired of it, and that you just want to quit. But there's always going to be someone out there to help you, and you'll be able to return that favor someday. And what can we do if we give up? There's always going to be a way around it, through it, even if it's death, drugs, hatred, racism. There's always a way around it. Nothing can stop you as long as you put your mind to it. It's a wrap. You gotta worry from something when it goes yeah. down, alright? Let's go, boys.